Hi my friends, my name is Justine and today I will be reviewing my new Fin Fun Tail Skin and the Mono Fin. So as you guys know I usually make my own mermaid tails but I received this as a gift for my birthday and I've tried it out a number of times in the pool and I actually really like it. Um, it's not my favorite by any means, but I definitely love the colors. This tail is the Watercolor Waves tail, and it's a special edition on Fin Fun. Um, they are still selling it as of the posting of this video, but as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. I love these colors so much. It has shiny foil dots on it, um, which really adds a lot of dimension underwater and then I don't know if you'll be able to see this but along with the foil dots there are some small plastic dots um, that are less shiny but you can they kind of reflect some light and give it a little bit more texture um, as well as that you know you have the printed scales which are very subtle and fit with the watercolor theme of this tail um, and I, I really love how subtle it is and how, how pastel the colors are. And the colors are just gorgeous. The purples and the greens and the blues. Here's the fluke. And as you can see, you have the rays on the fluke. And then this is really cool. So these are the dipped tips. The tips are a little bit more flexible. And they're actually coated in some kind of uh, plastic. Um, it feels a little bit like vinyl. And what this does is it protects the tips from getting scratched and torn on the bottom of the pool, which I think is really, really cool. Um, this is an industry's first, uh, and Fin Fun was really smart to do this because this is the area that receives the most wear for sure. And this is guaranteed um, for 60 days, I believe, on their website, which is really cool. And I really appreciate that they're willing to stand by their product and this new, um, this new, this new dipped tip. It's awesome. Like you can see there's no damage on my tips at all. And I've swum in it quite a few times. So that's really cool. This is the monofin that came with it. Um, it is the Fin Fun Pro monofin. So this is the adult size. Um, fin Fun monofins come in two sizes. They come in the monofin junior, which fits the kids size tails. And that fits youth sizes six to 10. Um, and then the monofin pro, which fits youth size 12 and all adult sizes. The blue trim monofin pro runs for $54 on the Fin Fun website. Um, the Regular monofin runs for about $44 on the Fin Fun website, which is a very reasonable price for a monofin. And then the tail itself, this is, as I said before, this is a limited edition tail. So this runs for also about $54 on the Fin Fun website. So for the total tail, you're looking at about $100, um, which is a decent price um, when you're getting the quality that you're getting. Their regular colors, their regular tail colors are a lot cheaper. So if you were gonna get the cheapest uh, color designs and the cheapest monofin available, you could get a tail for around $80, which is also really reasonable. And it's the, definitely, it's gonna be the same quality, um, whether you get this or a normal color. So first, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this monofin. So as you can see, there are two footholes, and basically you stick your feet down in here, um, and it's kind of just like socks. The neoprene itself is very open. There's nothing um, in the monofin that keeps your feet down, and that's kind of the only con that I have to this tail is that your feet, when they're in here, are just pressing up against the neoprene. And the neoprene stretches. So I'm worried that it's going to stretch over time and you don't really get a good, uh, it's, it's hard when you bring your feet up 
to get a good kick started when you're dragging the monofin around. Um, that being said, I think you can get a lot of propulsion from this tail. So the, the plastic itself is not going to break. This is a very high quality plastic. Um, I know that when Fin Fun first started out, they had an acrylic type uh, mono fin in here and that cracked a lot. This one I've heard does not crack at all. And when the way I've been swimming with it, it would have cracked already. Um, so as you can see, it's very flexible and it's flexible this way too, but it's also very firm. So you're going to get a really good kick started with this um, and it's going to be very easy to continue swimming. What I would recommend maybe if you're a more advanced mermaid or you're used to something a little bit more stiff is that you get a monofin stabilizer. Um, you can either make your own, and I'll have a tutorial coming up pretty soon on how to make your own. It's basically a band that goes across here um, that keeps your feet down to the plastic, um, and it's usually made out of a vinyl material so it doesn't stretch out. And it also helps the keep the longevity of your monofin cover. Um, you can make your own, or you can get one from the Virtuoso store on Etsy, and I'll have a link to those down below. Those are about $15. And from what I've heard from other people, they're really, really worth it. Um, they really help promote the longevity of your monofin. Um, and also Virtuoso has a lot of other cool stuff. So you should definitely go check them out if you're not a super skilled seamstress, but you want something that's, that's handmade um, for your tails. Moving on to the tail itself, um, the quality of this fabric is really, really nice. It's decently thick. Um, it's not going to, I don't see that it's going to pill on me particularly. Um, it's really nice and stretchy. So it's a polyester uh, spandex blend. And I really, really like it. I think it's a really good quality. It feels really nice. It's very silky. It's very smooth. Um, it looks great. Here are the seams. The seams are really well done. Um, they're really well hidden in my opinion. You can't hardly see them with all the dots and everything, um, which I really appreciate. The inside itself, the seams are done really nicely. They're surged on. And I think that these are gonna last a really long time. Like it's stretchy. I haven't had any, I've been taking monofins in and out of this. I have my Luna, which is um, bigger than the Fin Fun tail and it doesn't pull at these um, bits that are sewn in to keep the monofin in. I haven't had any tearing or anything like that. Um, and I've been using this pretty hardcore for a couple of days now. Um, I mean, look, look at this pattern. It's just absolutely beautiful. The fabric really stretches. This fits me absolutely great. It has got a, as I said before, um, this tail, I was surprised actually um, that this tail fit me. I'm a rather large person um, and this is the largest size that they come in and it fit me really, really well. Um, it is a little bit see-through and part of that is because it is such a light pattern. Um, I do tend to wear black swim bottoms under this um, so you can see through it a little bit but you can't but I would say that if you're wearing um, a similar like blue or purple uh, lighter colored bikini top bikini bottom that you wouldn't be able to see this um, or if you were wearing nude bottoms or leggings it'd be harder to see fin fun actually does sell leggings that match a lot of the printing that they do, which is really, really cool. So you can get leggings and you can have swim with just your leggings or you can put your leggings on under your tail and it helps the tail blend in. The only con that I have for the tail is that there's no elastic in the waistband. It's kind of just a folded over waistband and it is pretty tight. It still stretches, um, as you can see. However, for me, I would have preferred if it had a stronger elastic in the waistband. Um, I had to pull it up quite a few times because I am wearing it with a one-piece suit. Um, 
or a drawstring that would have worked too. I might put one in or I might figure out another way of keeping it up. Um, but overall, this is a really great quality tail. I can see it lasting for a really long time. Um, and I really do like it. I, I love these colors. They're just, they're so beautiful. Um, and they, oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. So FinFun has also included washing instructions um, on the little tag that's in here. It says machine wash on cold, gentle cycle, no bleach, hang to dry, do not iron, do not dry clean, do not wring or twist. Um, that's very important. I actually wouldn't put it in the washing machine anyway. Um, how I take care of my tails is right when I get out of the pool, I go and I soak them in cold water and I kind of just like press them down in the cold water to make sure that all of the chlorine is rinsed out um, and I hang it to dry flat so I hang it over I have a drying rack then I kind of hang it just like that to dry um, and I take the monofin out so it doesn't stretch and so far like it's held up its shape really well I don't see it, that it is stretched at all um, overall I am really happy with these products. I think that the monofin is not my favorite, but I have used this tail with the my Luna monofin, monofin, which actually worked surprisingly well. It does stick out a little bit, but because the colors are so similar, it's really hard to notice when you're swimming. Um, if you want to see me swimming with my Luna monofin and the fin fun tail, I do have a video up of that. And I do also have a review video uh, of the Luna monofin in case you want to get one and then put a fin fun tail skin over it. I will say that the adult size tail skins, the ones that are made for the monofin pro, will work with both the Luna and the Luna medium and the Luna small. However, the only thing you have to worry about is um, you will see a little bit of the color showing through. When you're swimming, it doesn't, you can't really tell, but that could also be because it matches so well with the color of my tail itself. Overall, I would highly recommend the Fin Fun Tail for a beginner swimmer or a first time mermaid. They're really affordable. Um, they're really good quality. I absolutely loved swimming in this tail. It looks beautiful in the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. This monofin, if you're used to a more heavy duty monofin like the Mahina or the, um, or any monofin that's kind of self-contained that doesn't have this neoprene cover um, over it, you're going to be a little bit disappointed because this does it doesn't secure your foot as well as the, those other ones do. However, I think that this would be really great um, for a starter or if you have a larger monofin as kind of a travel size one. Um, I really like it and I was surprised that I would really like it. In terms of where to swim with this fin, I would only recommend this fin for still water, um, pools, lake sides, um, you can swim with it in the ocean, but just make sure you're staying in the shallows or in a lagoon where there's not any current. Um, always make sure that you're swimming with somebody looking out for you, uh, an adult supervision or a friend. If you liked this video and you want to see more reviews, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of your fin fun tail if you have one or the color that you'd want the most if you don't have one. If you want to see more reviews, check out my monofin playlist. Uh, link will be below and in the iCard above. I just got two new fabrics in the mail. And if you want to see what those are for, or you want to see more of my face, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, happy swimming. Bye fish friends.